On the left you have a Magic Pi rear harness, on the right you have a front. The front is a much shorter wire. So here what I'm doing is I'm cutting about 8 inches away from the plug end of the front one. Make sure you use doing the front one. This uh, cable has 8 wires in it, so I'm going to split it open, take a look inside. You can see the eight wires there, they're all colored, they're all individually colored. So it's very simple. The next thing you want to do is you want to strip these eight wires, see what they look like. They're all stripped with about mm, half an inch to three quarters of an inch of bare wire. Now I'm cutting open the rear cable, the long one, again about eight inches from the opposite end this time from the four-way plug. So once you get a good slit in it you can bend it and it starts to pop open and then if you can get your finger in there you should be able to pull the wires out. Now once you have the wires out <clears throat> take the other short cable you've made and if you notice on the right side I've taped them together here so that it holds it in a uniform spot and then I'm individually stripping each wire and then soldering them together. It looks a little messy, but believe me, I cleaned it up and twisted each wire very nicely before soldering them. That one there, I fixed the solder up as well. But you can see I'm taping them up individually now. And you can see the short cable that I cut completely off is now being tied into the eight individual wires of this cable. Now they're in, all individually wrapped up. Everything is so it can't be shorted out. It's taped up really well now. So now you have a four-way plug with two motor plugs. So what you're going to do now is you're going to put the four-way plug at the front of the bike and plug in your four controls, your two throttles, I mean your two brake levers, your throttle, your two buttons, and the two other plugs just go into your motors. Okay, video quality is not going to be that great because we're in the dark here. But the cable is now hooked up with the four items on the front. The cable goes down and goes to the front motor and to the back motor. So we should have dual drive now. I'm going to throttle up. I'm trying to balance it on the stand here with both wheels off the ground and video at the same time. But there we go. We're powering up. Front wheel's turning. Back wheel's turning. Okay, I'm going to push the cruise. I don't know if I'll be able to show you that. Anyway, it's right there, the red one. Push the cruise. The cruise is on. There's no throttle going or being pushed. Front wheel's going. Back wheel's going. I'm going to touch the brake. See how fast they stop. Boom. Dual drive. Simple as that.